Hi friends! Today we're going to read Ruby and Peep. This is a story of unlikely friendship. Alright, it's a very, very nice story. I like this one. Ruby loved his goldfish, Wendy, and his humble home. He lived in a quiet little street where the neighborhood, where the neighbors minded their own business. We've got Ruby and Wendy the goldfish. And we've got his prized petunia patch, which is some pretty pink flowers. And he's got his favorite flowing fountain here. And then he's got this tree that's 547 years old. And it says, do not lean. Gotta be careful of the old tree. Until one day, the neighbor's house went up for sale. Uh-oh, who's going to move in next door? Peep moved in. Wow, Ricardo Peep said, smell that air. Listen to that quiet. It's not like the city, is it? You think the neighbors will mind my sound system? Wooby swallowed. Wendy, I hope this isn't as bad as it looks. Uh-oh. There's Wooby getting worried because he sees Peep moving in. He's got, Peep's got all this stuff. It's really loud stuff. And there's Ricardo and Peep. And we've got, the neighbors are all talking. Jiminy Piglet. Has she read the bylaws? Oh, nuts. And then we've got their moving, these are the moving dogs. It says two dogs and a moving truck. <laughs> the next day, the whole neighborhood was invited to Peep's housewarming party. Wooby and Wendy gulped. Mm. You ever gulp? Mm. Oh my goodness. A wild party, Wooby asked. I'm not the wild type. But it would be rude if we didn't go, right, Wendy? It says, hello, neighbor. You are invited to the wildest housewarming party of the year. Come on Saturday for an all-day party. The neighbors suddenly had plans. They liked their neighborhood just the way it was, and Peep's party sounded so different. I've got work to do. That's my day to bunny sit. What about my mud bath? When animals attack, we'll be on. I'm allergic. Achoo. Who has time to monkey around? Nay, says the horse. Bah, said the sheep. Wild? I don't do wild. That's what the lion said. Lions are pretty wild. That's when I meditate. Oh dear, got a match that night. Whose party is it? I'm alphabetizing my nut collection that day. That's when I have music lessons. I need to go potty. The big day finally arrived and Peep's party was a stunning failure. Nobody came except Wooby and Wendy. Aww. Would you like to pin the tail on the zebra? Want to take a jungle ride? Or maybe we can do a safari dance? Peep asked. Uh, sounds like fun, but um, no thanks, Wooby said. Trumpet call, trumpet call, crocodile snap. Sizzle burn. She wasn't kidding. This is wild. <clears throat> the party had been a flop, but Peep was not a quitter. She wanted to be Wooby's friend. The next day, Peep called to her neighbor. It's a truly, truly, truly terrific day to do something nice for a friend, wouldn't you say? Sure, Peep. Wooby listened to his fountain and read a comic book. There he is next to his favorite fountain and his 547-year-old tree. This huge marble globe will look great in Wooby's yard. Chip, 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 chip. Oh, no. Roll. Crash. Oops. Sorry. Uh-oh. Peep knocked over his favorite, Wooby's favorite flowing fountain. And it looks like he broke it. After Wooby cleaned up the mess, he trimmed his magnificent maple, which is the 547-year-old tree. 
Do you know that we have maple trees all over Vermont? Vermont is known for maple syrup. Have you ever had maple syrup or any kind of maple flavored things? Because Vermont has tons of maple trees and they make maple syrup. That peep sure is interesting, he thought. Next door, a peep was busy fixing Wooby's favorite flowing fountain. Peep, don't. It was hot. Peep took a rest. Whew, that's hard work, she said. Uh-oh, and then she leaned on the 547-year-old maple tree, and look what happened. Crash. It fell over. Oops, Peep said. Double sorry. The next morning, Wooby planted petunias in his prized petunia patch. He then sang... He sang them a glorious tune. Petunias, petunias, it's so nice to grow yas. Suddenly, Wooby heard Peep yell from next door. Peep was up to something again. Look at all the neighbors. Oh, meow. Does she have a permit? This new forest will make Wooby forget about his maple tree, Peep said. Steer it to the clear. Steer it to clear it, boys. Vroom, vroom, crank. Putting up some new trees. Oh, rats crash. Oh my goodness. The forest was supposed to be over there, Peep cried. Eugene, you said go straight. No, I said no wait. Wooby glared at his humble, crumbled home. At least you still have the petunia patch, Peep offered. Oh man, now Peep struck Wooby's house. That night, Wooby played goldfish with Wendy. At least it was peaceful again in his quiet little neighborhood. Go fish, Wendy. Blurg. Playing gold, go fish with a goldfish. <laughs> That's so silly. It was perfectly quiet. Or maybe, just maybe, a little too quiet. And lonely? We're not lonely, are we? Wooby asked Wendy. Wendy's brow furrowed. I agree, not lonely at all, Wooby said unconvincingly. We're fine. Suddenly, more noises came from next door. What is Peep doing now, Wooby asked. Clip, 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 sniff, sniff, sniff. What is he doing? What do you think Peep is doing? Wooby stomped over to Peep's house and flung open the door. There was Peep and Ricardo in a giant mess. What are you doing, Peep? Wooby asked. Look at that mess. I'm trying to make everything up to you. I'm sorry for ruining your house, your fountain, your tree. Did you know that tree was 547 years old? Wow. Wooby softened. Peep, I just wanted to thank you for being my friend, Peep said. Poor Peep. He feels really bad. Your friend? Wooby scratched his head. I'm just a neighbor, Peep. He sighed. No, you're not, Peep replied. You came to my party. You were the only one, and this whole time I've just wanted to be a friend back. I was so lonely. No offense, Ricardo. Lonely? Wooby thought. And do you have any idea how hard it is to play goldfish with an iguana? No offense again, Ricardo. You play goldfish too? No way! Oh my goodness. And look, now they're smiling at each other. And Wooby says, let's be friends. Truly, 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 Peep asked. Of course, Wooby replied. <gasps> Yay! Look at that. Wooby and Peep made big plans for a party. City planning will have a fit. What are the neighbors doing now? Power tools are a no-no. <laughs> they really should use bamboo. like they're building a new house with a goldfish pond what 
says, hello, neighbor. The excitement is building and you are invited to the party. Bring your own tools. It was a house building party. A party for two. Just you and me, Wooby said. Wooby and Peep. Peep said, best friends forever. Break it down. Glad, glad, glad. They're dancing in the new house. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> the end. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed that story about Wooby and Peep. Um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I love that one. I think it's really cool. It's a great story about unexpected friendship. Sometimes we might not think that we are going to be friends. And then you guys find something that you have in common. Um, what do you guys call it? Connections. You have a connection with somebody, right? You guys have like maybe the same lunchbox or you like the same game or the same movie or have the same shoes. It's a pretty cool connection, right? And then you guys become good friends, I bet. All right, my friends. I'm going to go. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.